Magandang araw mga kids! Tayo ngayon ay week 1 ng grade 5 mathematics quarter 3. Ang ating lesson titles, Visualizing Percent and its Relationship to Fractions, Ratios and Decimal Numbers Using Models. Defining Percentage, Rate or Percent and Base. Identifying Base, Percentage and Rate in a Problem. The illustration on the left side is a grid paper. Can you count how many small squares are there? Why do you think there are 100 squares? Yes, you are right. Because this day, we'll talk about percentage and how to visualize it. 7% of the figure is shaded black. The figure is composed of 100 small squares. There are 7 squares shaded black. As a fraction, the shaded region is 7 hundredths. While as a ratio, it is 7 is to 100 because 7 is compared to 100. The ratio 7 is to 100 means 7 per 100. Another name for per 100 is percent. And this is the symbol for percent. 7 is to 100 or 7 hundreds is also written as 7%. We read 7% as 7%. Person symbol takes the place of the denominator 100 in a fraction. That is why 700 equals 7%. Likewise, the symbol percent replaces the term 100 in a ratio. So, 7 is to 100 equals 7%. 7 is to 100 is 700 or 0 0.07 as a decimal. So, 7% is also 0 0.07 or 700. Let us try visualizing percent in solving word problem. Veronica and Ron earned 100 pesos for selling face masks. They gave their mother 80 pesos and put 20 pesos in their coin bank. What percent of their earnings did they give to their mother? What percent did they have? Let us draw the model. There are 100 parts in all. The shaded part is 80 out of 100 parts. You can write 80 then a fixed percent sign. You can read 80%. The unshaded part is 20 of 100 parts. You can write 20 then a fixed percent sign and you can read 20%. Percent is a spatial ratio that compares a certain number to 100. It is a ratio whose meaning is similar to fraction with a denominator of 100. Percent means hundreds so it can be written as decimal and a decimal in hundreds can be expressed as a percent. A short way to change a fraction with a denominator of 100 into decimal 
is to write the numerator and put the decimal point two places from the right. Percent is to write the numerator together with the percent sign. This time, you will know how to define percentage, rate, or percent, and base. Because all of us likes to eat fruits and these are needed by our body to be able for us to stay healthy and fit, so I have here a problem. In the class of Miss May, she divided her students into eight groups. She asked the group to select a leader. Among the fruits presented, two groups choose papaya as their favorite fruit. Let us analyze the problem so that we will clearly find out the base, rate, and percentage in a given problem. Let us give the ratio of the total number of groups to the number of groups whose choose papaya. 8 is to 2. Let us write the given ratio into fraction 8 is to 2. Let us convert the given ratio and fraction into percent. 2 divided by 8 equals 25 hundredths. Change it into percent and that is 25%. We can write 25% of 8 is 2. We deal with 3 elements, rate, base, and percentage. 25% of 8 equals 2. 25% is the rate, 8 is the base, and 2 is the percentage. The relationship among the 3 is R times B equals P, or rate times base equals percentage, or P equals R times B or percentage equals rate times base. 25% is the rate. It is given as a percent. It can be expressed as ratio or fraction. 8 is called the base. It is a whole number of which you take the percent. 2 is called the percentage meaning a part of the whole. It is the resulting fractional part of the base. After learning the definition of base, rate, and percent, it will be very easy for us to identify the base, rate, and percentage in a given problem. Why is it important for us to know how to identify the base, rate, and percentage in a problem because we all know that we are facing and encountering different mathematical real life situation it is very important to know and to identify these three so you will know when and how to apply it for learning task one let us think of the place where we encounter percent. Before the pandemic, I know there were times that you joined your mother, sister, or you went with the family in the mall or department stores. And I know as you move around the store, you were able to see some items which are on sale. You were able to see items with percentage sign as shown on the examples below. T-shirts made of 50% cotton, 50% polyester. So what does percent mean? For learning task 2, using pictures, 
give the ratio of the shaded parts to the whole part. Then change them to fractions, decimal, and percent. For learning task 3, let us have another problem. Fill in the blanks with the correct word or phrase to complete the sentence. 75% of the 40 pupils of Mrs. Santiago like mathematics. 30 pupils are math lovers. So we say that 75% of Mrs. Santiago are math lovers. In the given problem, 40 is our base because it represents the blank. 75% is the rate because it is the ratio between the blank and the blank. 30 pupils is the percentage because it is a part of the blank. Let us continue identifying the base, rate, and percentage in the given problem. Write in the proper table the base, rate, and percentage of the given problem. Number 1. There are 36 fruits in a basket. 18 of them are mangoes. 50% of them are mangoes. The base is 36. The rate is 50%. And the percentage is 18. For number 2, Nico deposited 500 pesos in the bank at 9% interest a year. He earns 45 pesos in a year. 500 pesos is the base. The rate is 9% and 45 pesos is the percentage. Then try to answer number 3, 4, and 5. For learning task 5, collecting data, Carlo interviewed one of of his friends on their most viewed TV program. The table below shows the numbers of interviewees who choose any of the four programs. What you will do is to express the value in fraction, decimals, percent, and ratio form. For a star track, there are 16 friends. Then you can write that in fraction form like 16 hundreds or 16 over 100. In decimal, that is 0 0.16 or 16 hundreds. In percent, that is 16 percent. And 16 is to 100 in ratio form. Then continue this activity up to KMJS. Learning task 6. Read the problem carefully. Identify the rate, base, and percentage in the following problem. Do not solve the problem. Put N in the missing element. Number 1. Joshua has a 5% commission rate on all his sales. If he sells, 40,000 pesos worth of merchandise in one month, how much will he earn? The rate is the 5%, base is 40,000 pesos, and percentage is missing. Then try to answer number 2 and 3. Study the 100 counting number chart and answer the following questions. Number 1. How many counting numbers are there? What percent shows the 100 numbers from the chart? Number 2. What number of the chart are even numbers? Add numbers. What percent of even and add numbers are present in the chart? Number 3. How many percent are the following? A. Multiples of 10. 5 and 3 B. Prime numbers and C. Composite numbers 
Read the problem carefully, then answer the questions that follow. Number 1. We saw 18 big fish in a pond. 50% of them were very colorful. There are 9 colorful fishes. The base in the problem is 18. Number 2. Mr. Gonzalez received the amount of 10,000 pesos. After selling a computer set cost 50,000 pesos for he has given a 20% commission. What is the rate in the problem? Number 3. In our class there are 30 boys, 6 out of 30 are working students. It is 20% of the total number of boys in our class. The percentage in the problem is blank. Try to answer number 2 and 3. Write the name for its shaded part as a fraction, ratio, percent, and decimal. Complete the table below using the given data. Which statement describes the given element? Number 1. Rate Number 2. Percentage Number 3. Base Identify the base, rate, and percentage in the problems below. Number 1. The sale price of a book is 300 pesos. Its original price is 400 pesos with 25% discount. Try to answer number 2, 3, and time starts now. Write your personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. I understand that blank. I realize that blank. I need to learn more about blank. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Hanggang isa muli. Samahan niyo ako sa mga susunod pang mga videos. Huwag kakalimot na mag-subscribe. Pwede kayong mag-comments, mag-like, at i-share ang ating mga videos. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!